concept is political poison. Uh, the Honourable Clayton Crosby. Mr Chair, I want to refer to um, uh, th uh, Clause 44A, which I believe is, is part of the, uh, the, the section which we're debating, uh, page 16. Correct. And uh, it's very interesting because in this it talks about uh, recognised agencies, persons and classes of person, and particularly I want to ask the Minister what the ramifications of 44A bracket B are. As bracket B says, establishes a procedure for the recognition of purposes, persons, I should say, recognition of persons or classes of persons who are to carry out specified functions and activities for the purposes of this Act. Now, my question for the Minister is, and I take it the Minister is not Mr Banks, and, and we take it that his memory is a lot better than Mr Banks, but how is it that we can have a Minister of the Crown, sir, who has such a bad memory? on all sorts of issues, sir, and this is very germane to this bill, how would he, for instance, recognise a person or classes of person who carried out, carries out specific functions? How would the Minister of Small Business, Mr Banks, actually recognise it? Because, of, because, of course, as we know through illustrative evidence, sir, the Minister struggles to remember his own, not the Minister and the Chair, to be fair, Minister Banks struggles to remember his own name or his reflection in the, or in the mirror, or whether he's on a helicopter, or whether the brown envelope, or whether it's a sack or a brown envelope. So I think it's very, very germane, sir, and I'd invite Minister Foss, who I'm sure has some insight into these things, or he may wish to take some advice from a specialist in amnesia or something like that. I don't know if the Department of Health has those people. Who they, who, whether, whether Mr Banks, as the responsible minister, is actually accountable and can be held accountable for this particular clause in the legislation, because I would have thought in order to establish a procedure for the recognition of persons or classes of persons who carry out specific functions and activities for the purposes of this Act, one would have to have a reasonable memory. One would have to know what day it is, for instance, what one's name is. Who the, one would have to recognise and remember these persons. I see Todd McClay nodding. He knows that this is an important part of this Act. You cannot have an Act implemented by a minister who's incapable of remembering the basic facts, the basic facts of any particular proposition. My colleague says what type of house he's entering, what he had for, what he had for dinner, how big the bodyguard was, how big the envelope was, you know, whether he did declare it, whether he didn't. These are all sort of evidential propositions, sir, which would lead somebody to believe that a minister who's in charge of this may not be able to carry, carry out and be accountable for the particular clauses in this section. And that is a worry to the New Zealand public, sir. That is a real worry because I think, you know, especially in our agriculture and our... our Sorry to interrupt oh. the honourable member. The time has come for me to leave the chair. This debate is interrupted. I shall resume the chair at 7.30.